Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with PA Creative. In this week's tutorial, I have something a little different. I'm going to show you how you can create a site template that you can then use to quickly set up Divi websites. So let me explain this a little more. Um, I'm going to be using Divi Assistant. You could also do this a little bit without Divi Assistant and I can mention that but you'll want to have Divi Assistant for this and I'll show you what I mean. I have a blog post that I have linked and you can go over there and it's going to have all the written instructions. Um, I go over a bunch of little you know, minor points here but it's a good list to follow. I will just be showing you live in this video but it's nice to have that example there. All right, so I'm calling this a reusable Divi site template. You could call it a blueprint, um, there's probably other words that you could use to describe this. Think of this as a collection of configurations and settings and templates and all these things, right? Basically the way that you want a website to be set up and then think, what if you could install that like in one click? So think of it that way. And you could make multiple configurations of these things. So maybe you have one type of client and you always need a certain type of layout or you certain certain settings in Divi Assistant or in Divi Theme Options or certain customizer settings and all this, right? Maybe even like global colors and presets. You could do that and then export it and then one click, you import that. Maybe you have another client type, so client type B or something. You could configure all that and set it up. So I'm gonna walk you through a little bit how to do that using Divi Assistant. Now you could do it with manually, like exporting theme options, exporting, um, well actually you couldn't do all of it manually because you wouldn't be able to do like the plugins and the global colors and presets. Well anyway, but you could do a few items in Divi with just the theme options and the customizer and the theme builder. But I'm gonna show you how to do it all at once. Now you will need to have Divi Assistant installed. That's a plugin that we offer, has hundreds of settings and features, and it's just an incredibly handy toolkit for you to have. Uh, I am going to go in the back end here of a demo website. So this may be something that, even if you're already using Divi Assistant, you may not have realized it was there or you didn't realize how powerful it could be. So we have this uh, import and export feature right here. It's a similar to how Divi does it, right? It's like that up and down arrow. So when I click on that, I get a pop-up like this. And you can see here there's quite a bit of options. And this is obviously the export screen. Here we can name our file. Now that will become important because you might want to name it, give it a certain name where it's like this is the site template A for this type of client or site template B for this type of client. And the check boxes here are things that can be included. Now, there's even more things beyond this I'll show you, but here you can see like the Divi Assistant settings, global colors in Divi, uh, the Divi theme options, the theme customizer settings, module presets, Divi library layouts, um, and theme builder templates. So this is all pretty cool. You could do whatever you want here, right? Okay, so basically, what this means is if I have, you know, maybe I have some of these settings here enabled, um, you know, whatever it may be, right? I have these enabled and I've gone through, you know, all of these settings and I have them configured the way I always want them. You know, just for example, you know, I know for me, I'm going to always want this enabled because I hate that thing where you go to the media library. Anyway, there's things like this where you probably always want a setting enabled and you don't really feel like doing this on every site that's where this comes in so handy but there's other things now obviously you could go over here to theme options in Divi or the customizer and kind of do that same thing right maybe set up these colors here I don't know there's not even that many settings maybe you want to have back to top button enabled yeah there's not really even that many settings anymore but anyway so you could do this here right so it's kind of the same thing, but it's just exporting this. Um, you could do that with the theme builder. See here, whatever templates you have set up, you could do that, right? You can already do that. Um, and then the customizer, you're probably not using that. The Divi library actually has the import and export too. 
Um, so we take care of that as well. And then there's another one that, let me show you. Oh, and the global colors and presets, that's something you couldn't do in Divi. So basically, if you go into your to your layout, right, and set up some presets and global colors, and you can, remember, you can do the, where's styles here? It is. You can set up global colors here if you want. But when they're in, when you're in the visual builder, you can do it as well and set the presets. Those can also be included. So the whole point here is go through everything and set it up. And here's a bonus. Whatever plugins you may want to have installed. So I have advanced custom fields um, and that's, I have the version installed from WP Engine. You can go to their website and download that, throw that in there. Anyway, so like anything like here, like I may want to have the table contents plugin or my search helper, whatever it is, right? Now watch. So over in Startup Helper, second tab here, um, there's Import and Export Plugins. And maybe this is something you haven't even seen before, but look at this. This is a list of all the plugins from my site. I can select them all. You can see the checkbox here. Um, you know, I can actually export this list right here. So I name it whatever, Divi Assistant Plugin Export. And I can take that into a new website and import that list. That would actually be in the Startup Helper action. So as you're going down through, you know, doing these quick actions, which again is a really nice thing, um, right here, import plugin list. So you can click that and you select it and you import it. That's simple. That's really cool. Like that, that can save a ton of time. Um, and it works for plugins from the WordPress repository or even other plugins like ours. So really handy. So the idea here is get your site, everything set up. Think, think through like a client um, type that you build a lot. Like, oh, I know I'm going to always need to start a new Divi website with these settings. Or, I mean, think of it something as simple as like a theme builder header template, right? Like that could be really powerful. Like imagine adding a global header and footer that you always have. Maybe you want to put like your website name in the footer or whatever it is. You could set it up once and then just export and it will, it will always be there. And maybe you want to do like a skeleton style, like something where it's, you could style the colors depending on um, what website branding they use, but it would like give you a base start for every single website. I think that would be a great idea. Again, I go over all of that in this blog post. I've been jumping around because basically, you know, step one is setting up the site, like install whichever plugins you want, um, get theme options set up the way you want it, a customizer, get that set up, do the theme builder templates like I just said, go into your Divi Builder, um, adjust any presets on the modules, add the colors that you're going to be using there. Um, pretty much everything, you know, set it up and then export it. So I'll go over to Divi Assistant and I'll go ahead and do this, you know, live here. Why not, right? Divi Assistant said, so I'm going to check everything, I believe. Okay, and I'm going to export. Now, I am going to actually set up a brand new site. So to do this, I'm going to use InstaWP. It's something I use for doing quick test sites and stuff, and also for like the staging sites. Um, if you want to check that out, go over here to, in our website, to the tools we use. Um, you can scroll down through here and see all these tools we use. You can click that button there. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and literally add a brand new site just to show, you know, what I'm doing. It'll go ahead and create it. And I will have to do one thing here. I can copy that link. Um, but I can just click log in. Now I will have to install Divi, obviously. Like I can't, like, <laughs> there's no way for me to do that. That wouldn't make sense. Um, so you have to install Divi first and then install Divi Assistant. All right, you can go ahead and do all that stuff. I am going to go ahead now to the plugin. All right, now I'm installing Divi Assistant. So it's a brand new site and I'm doing that on purpose to show you, and I'll show you actually those settings here in Divi Assistant. Um, remember in the other site, I adjusted some things. So I'll show you that they're not adjusted. Remember the one I did, um, <laughs> I had this enabled, right? 
and I think like in here I enabled a couple of things. Okay, so you can see that this is just bare bones. I would have to go in here and adjust everything. I'd have to go, you know, nothing's here, right? You know, there's no um, theme builder template. There's there's nothing changed in theme options. All right, so watch this. I'll go up here and this time I'll click on import. Now it will say, hey, you know, this is going to overwrite your existing settings. Do you understand? So it's like, yes. And then you choose the file. All right, grab the settings. And then here, look at this. So we just added this. You can actually choose now, like, okay, pause a minute. Let's say you exported like um, template A and later as you're going to install on this site, you realize I actually just need, um, you know, these three. That's fine. Um, it'll actually just choose those three. But in my case, since I knew when I was exporting, like what I wanted for this type of website, if that makes sense, I'm going to select them all. It's just a way of showing like, hey, we even want the extra model, like let you choose which items you want to import that you exported. So I think that's pretty cool. Okay, here we go. So I'm on the import tab. I did that, I selected the file, and then all of these, I want all of these things. The Divi Assistant settings, global colors, theme options, everything, all right? Go ahead and import. Um, let's see, let's hope this worked, right? Now, I'm probably going to have to refresh the page. All right, so I will go to that media helper and click on library. Ah, the settings enabled. Great, right? I will go to this one here. You can see the settings are enabled. So that is pretty handy. Now let's go over to like, I think the theme builder should have something. I forgot to actually, I only had that. I should have actually built more, but you get the idea. Um, I don't think I even had any Divi library. Oh yeah, I did. I had that test section, remember that? I think I had the global collar set up. Let's, let's take a look. So I'll go to like the text collar here. Right here, yeah, see these here? So these global colors, like they're already in here. I'll, I'm gonna go back to the other site and show you. So in here in the styles helper, we have this feature that actually lets you set up the global colors in Divi Assistant, which is so cool. Cause it's kind of cumbersome and you can label them, which is really neat. You could label this as like whatever, like that main accent collar or their you know, preferred logo collar, whatever you know you wanna do, that's what really neat. But look, all of these that were in here, imported in here, and just like that, they're in the visual builder. Like, that's so cool. Uh, I don't know if there were any presets. I don't know, I should have checked that. This is what happens when you record at midnight. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if I actually had any presets, but you get the idea, I believe. If I had gone in here in the other site and, and had any presets at all, they would be imported. Let's see, back on the tutorial, um, yeah, exported all the settings and then imported. And then I just say customize um, yeah, the imported template. You could tweak anything. Like, did you see how quickly I actually set that up? That's going to obviously depend, like if you have a ton of templates and stuff, but that was like in a second or two. So think of it now, you can get a new client and you, you kind of have a collection of templates, you know, configured like, oh yeah, that'll be the perfect template. Install WordPress, install Divi, install Divi Assistant, and then boom, import them. Oh, I forgot to do the plugins. Uh, we can do that, but it works the exact same way. You just import that file and hey, all your plugins are in WordPress. I don't even think I exported them, so I'm gonna go ahead and actually run that just to show you. I'm gonna select all of these, okay? Export that. Now watch this. I'm literally jumping over to the other site. I don't want to save that. I want to go to Divi Assistant now again, and I'll go to the Startup Helper. And I, I could do it. I could do it in here as well, right here. Okay. So I can import a plugin list. Grab that plugin list. Look at that. Just look at that. I want to install all of these. Okay. So install selected plugins. So keep an eye on these. Advanced custom fields. Our contact form helper. Responsive helper. Search helper. Table of contents, tabs and makers, social sharing, and WooCommerce. Now watch this. Go to plugins. There they are. Look at that. <laughs> They're not active, which is, that's fine. I can activate them very quick, but there they are. They're all installed. Just one click like that. There you go. I hope you like this. If you do, and if you have any kind of feedback or suggestions to even take this further, definitely let me know. Um, definitely subscribe if you enjoyed this. Um, I think like, less than 20% of my viewers 
are subscribed, which is fine. It's I know how it is. Um, but if you do like this content, I do try to post every single week. I've been doing that for years. There are hundreds of tutorials, so that's kind of what you get here. All right, well, we'll see you all in our next video.